Good morning. Welcome to vlog number three. Day three. Anyway, I'm going to quickly catch you guys up. Since um, hurricane hit and we came back from our motorcycle ride, I realized that I was grossly overweight and completely out of shape. So about the first week in October, uh, I started a diet. About 23 days ago, I started exercising every day. I'm either running or I'm riding my bicycle, which you've seen the first day of the vlog. Anyway, I just got back from my bike ride. It was a great bike ride, I'm trying to get myself back in shape. I have lost 21 pounds, but throwing that in the vlog, that helps keep me accountable for what I'm doing. And uh, you never know, it might inspire you to do the same. Anyway, let's get this day started. You know what really sucks? When your motorcycle garage is full of Jeep, um, broken Jeep, and I have not figured out how to fix it yet. That'll be in another vlog, 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 Badger vlog, so stay tuned. All right guys, so before I continue my story from day one, um, all of you that watched yesterday's vlog and saw that the truck ran through my yard, hit a dresser, and a lot of people um, commented and they're like, did he stop? So he actually did. He went down, he turned around. It was a little old guy. Um, in fact, he had a big old piece of the dresser sticking out of the front of his truck. Um, we jerked that out. He went home. But wait, there's more. So last night, I don't know, six, seven o'clock, we get a knock on our door. So um, Angie and I were actually in like a conference call. So mom, who's staying with us, whole nother story. But anyway, mom and dad are staying with us. And so they answered the door and um, it was this little old guy and his daughter. I'm assuming it was his daughter. She was much younger than him, um, unless he's just got it going on. Anyway. Him and this younger lady came down and basically she just wanted to make sure that everybody was okay he like had no idea what happened he's like i, I don't even know what happened anyway um but the uh, front of his truck uh the headlights all tore up um the side markers tore up they're gonna fix that not a big deal uh but their main concern was was anybody hurt was everybody okay and um I mean, we really appreciated them coming down just to find out if everybody was okay. Anyway, he was extremely apologetic. She was extremely apologetic. I mean, we were getting rid of the dresser anyway, so no harm, no foul. Um, I just hope whatever happened to him, I don't know if it was medical, if he wasn't paying attention, but I hope he pays better attention in the future. Anyway, off of that subject, it's over, gone. On to the next subject um, the rest of the story so I just left Harley Davidson um, as a salesman and uh, I had owned a credit card company for 10 years the reason I went to Harley was I just didn't know if I wanted to do the credit card thing in Florida I mean that meant going out cold calling you know knocking on doors meeting business owners and growing a business if you've ever done that it is a lot of work. So I just didn't know if I really wanted to do that again. But once we got, I got done with Harley, um, I knew the money was good. I knew the business really well. And um, I looked at Mama Badger and I said, look, we can go back to doing this, but I just, man, I don't want to wear a suit and a tie again. Cause I mean, I used to wear nice pants, nice button up shirt. I didn't usually wear a tie, but you get it. I look like a banker. And I was like, man, the last thing I want to do is dress up like a banker again and go to work. So mom badger's like, let's just keep the whole badger thing. So we will be bikers, not bankers. Um, I went in jeans, riding boots. I showed up on my Harley to all my appointments and, um, uh, Guys, that worked really well. Uh, a lot of people really related to us. A lot of people rode motorcycles, so of course they wanted to talk motorcycles. And it was probably the best business move we had ever made. So we did that for another four or five years. Um, and during that whole time, every night, I went to the page that I had created, um, the Badgers and the Biker Lifestyle, 
and I put on five pieces of content. So that's five pieces of content, 365 days a year for like four or five years. If that tells you how long it took us to build up the audience that we have on Facebook. So none of it was overnight. We weren't focused on it, but we still worked on it every single day. Anyway, guys, I don't want to keep this vlog too long. I really, really, really do appreciate you guys watching these and supporting us. And uh, I'll continue the story uh, in the next one. <laughs>